Hello YouTubers. Today we're going to take a look at the Indiana Jones Adventure Series from Hasbro. This is the first set, the first wave of all the Raiders of the Lost Ark characters. We have the Marion Ravenwood, Belloc, Indiana Jones, Sala, and Major Arnold Tote. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at these, all of these. We're going to take a look at the box first. Then we're going to get inside the box and see what we got going on. Okay, the first box we're going to look at is the Marion Ravenwood box. You can see on the front we got our action figure. We got the little monkey. And then we even have a nice drawing, a realistic drawing of Marion and the monkey from Raiders of the Lost Ark. You can see that this is meant for ages four and up. It is a plastic-free packaging. And that's the newest thing from Hasbro that they're going with. And you can also build the arc with all of these figures. So that is the front of the box. Check that out. Get a closer look. That looks pretty cool. Now we'll look at the side of the box that shows everybody that you need to get to build that arc. So that is really cool. I like that. And there is the back. Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Marion Ravenwood includes all the things you see right there. You got Marion, the monkey, the pan, and a piece of the arc. So... And we got another picture of the figure. And there's another nice, that's some good art right there. There's her. And there's the guy she smacks with the pan in the movie. And if you haven't seen this movie, you need to see this movie. It is awesome. It has to be my all-time favorite movie ever. There's the bottom of that box. And then there's the top of the box. So that is... Marion Ravenwood. Next, we'll take a look at Major Arnold Tote. So we'll look at the front of that box. We got our artwork here, our action figure. Bring that in. Check out that artwork. That looks really cool. It's like he's right up there when they open up the arc. Four and up. I like how they do the background. Like when you see Indiana Jones flying in a plane somewhere, you got the dots. That's really neat. And there's the side, just like the other box. And there's the back. And we'll bring that in. And you can see what comes with him. You got his melting face from when they open up the arc. You got his hand that he burns. He burns the imprint on. You got his gun. He looks really, really cool. And then there's some artwork on the side. That looks awesome. And there's the arc with all the phantoms coming out of it. That is neat. Bottom of the box. Top of the box. And that is Major Arnold Tote. And he's the guy that you just... Can't stand in the movie. You can't wait to see him get his. Next we have Sala. Indiana Jones is right hand man in the movie. Uh, he is from Cairo. And it's a construction company in the movie. And they are the guys that are working on the dig site where they're searching for the ark. And there he is. His rope, his shovel, that's the same outfit like from in the movie. And there is the artwork on the side, looks just like him. That looks great, great packaging. This packaging reminds me of uh, the resin models they came out with years ago of Indiana Jones and uh, what would be Harrison Ford and Sean Connery as his father. And I actually still have those around. Maybe I'll bring those out sometime. 
And there's an, some more artwork of him on the side of the box. There's Indiana Jones and Sala lifting the Ark out. That's really cool. And there's the side, just like the others. Build an artifact. The bottom, got the top, and the back. And there he is once again. There's everything included in this package. Rope, shovel, and the part of the Ark. And that's really neat. That looks good. That's an awesome figure. All right. Let's take a look at Rene Belloc. Or, as Sala says, they call him Beloche. And then Indiana Jones has to correct him. So there he is. He's got his priest outfit on. Ready to open up the Ark. His chest plate. Ready to perform the Jewish ritual that some of the Nazis aren't too fond of. There, bring that up. Check out that artwork. That looks great. He looks great. That is cool. I'm gonna flip to the side. Same as the others. Bottom. And the top. And then here's the artwork. And that looks just like him. And there they are performing the ritual. They're about ready to open up the ark with all the Nazis around. Great movie. Need to watch that movie. And there he is. Everything that's included in this package. That's really, really neat. Okay. And last, but certainly not least, Indiana Jones himself. Henry Jones Jr. Harrison Ford. There he is. The figure looks great on this box. We're going to pull in. Look at the artwork. That is cool. Ages four and up. Let's look at the side of that box. There it is. The iconic, well, all the iconic pictures of Indiana Jones from Raiders of the Lost Ark. That is awesome. Look, that is everything he comes with. He comes with quite a bit. Three sets of hands, his pistol, his whip, his bag, the idol, the whip. Give me the whip. Give me the idol. The cherubs. That is great. And the bottom of the box. The top of the box. And that side of the box that Looks like the same as the others. We'll bring that in. You can see each piece of the arc that comes with it. Just like it has it all over the box. Okay, so let's start opening them. Okay, so I pulled this out. Normally I kind of set these off to the side to let you see it. But I just want to let you see how these are wrapped. Just in case you haven't seen this yet. This is the new packaging that Hasbro's doing. Instead of all the plastic and everything. They're putting it in a bag. I will say this, this bag is pretty cool. You got a map on there. I don't know if you can really see that or not. South America. There, I think you can see it now. So that, that's really neat. That's something different. That took some thought going into that. I'll bring that in closer. That is pretty neat. You could actually, if you wanted to probably use this, if you were gonna make a diorama, you could make a map and lay it out on the table. So that, that's really neat. Just wanted to show you that. There's the figure. Wow. She looks great. Let me tell you what. That head sculpt is awesome. She's got her foot down. Let me put that foot up. That's kind of it's kind of stiff, but that's okay. These all move. They bend. Knees bend. Legs bend. Chest bends. Arms swivel. That's kind of tough bending that one now. So, and then the head moves. Check out this face sculpt. Now, that's amazing. That looks just like her. That is great. The people that sculpt this head over at Hasbro did an awesome job. That is something to be proud of because that looks just like Marion Ravenwood. This is an awesome figure. This is really cool. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this. Design on her clothes, everything. I mean, it looks great. 
There's the back side. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Look at her shoes. Yeah, that's really, really nice. I like that head sculpt. So, there she is. Well, that bag ripped. Can't use that one from that. That's kind of hard to get out, that is. But we were going to take it out anyways. Okay, let's check out all the stuff that comes with her. Oh, there's her frying pan that she's hit, yeah, she hits people with. So there's her frying pan. And then here's the little monkey. <laughs> let's see. Uh, trying to get in the focus. It's not focusing. All right, that's kind of cool. His arms move. Tail moves. He just kind of sits and perches. Let me bring that in. Man, that is not... There it is. I just say that monkey is not having it. He just does not want to be seen. But that's really cool. That's neat. I don't know how you really... You'd have to figure out a way to put him on there with her. But that is cool. <laughs> that's really neat. And then we have the two pieces of the arc. This is obviously two different pieces. They kind of looks like they fit like this, maybe. Yeah, they slide down in. So there's a corner. So that's neat. So there we go. There's Marion Ravenwood and the little monkey. Let's look. Look at that face. That monkey's face is great, too. That looks just like the monkey. That's awesome. That's cool. Okay, so that's Marion Ravenwood with her monkey, piece of the ark, and her frying pan. All right, let's check out the next one. Next, we're going to check out Renee Belloc. And there he is. Let's check out that head sculpt. That looks pretty good. Um, it could look better, but it does look, it, it looks pretty good. It definitely looks better than the toys from back in the 80s. That's for sure. That's pretty close. So, that looks like him. I think he might have had grayer hair, though. But, uh, I'm really, I'm really digging this ceremonial outfit. That is awesome. Look at that breastplate. Look at his hat. Look at all the detail in that. That is great. Look at that. That is awesome. The hair looks good. The outfit looks good. That, look at the detail in that wrap or like sash or whatever you want to call it. I mean, this really looks good. Looks awesome. Kind of move this stuff. You can see he's got his dress pants on under there. They could probably easily make his other action figure of him just having a white suit and hat on if they wanted to, I'm sure. And as you can see, he moves, moves all around. No limitation except for, you know, this. You know, this stuff isn't gonna move that great. But yeah, moves his head, his head swivels, everything moves around. He He's a pretty cool figure. I think they could have done better with the head sculpt, but he is he he doesn't look bad. He looks pretty good. Um he comes with his staff. Uh, there we go, which looks pretty satanic. I don't know that I ever really paid attention to the staff in the movie as a kid. But there's his staff that he uses. And then his pieces to the arc are these. Just is kind of like a almost like a rubber type plastic. Oops. I'll put that back. But these are the pieces that go on the side. Right. Like that. So that they can carry the arc. So that's pretty cool. And that's pretty neat. And then of course. You can see it comes with both sides. And we won't be able to complete the arc until we have all the pieces. But you kind of get the idea of what's going on. And we'll leave those there. But yeah, pretty cool figure. Pretty neat looking. Um, yeah, I like him. 
he's pretty cool to check out that head sculpt one more time okay let's check out the next one okay next up is sala all right let's take a look first of all here's the arc piece it's the top of the arc that comes with sala that's pretty neat <laughs> that looks really good look at the detail on that that's amazing that's really neat we're gonna go ahead and might as well while we're at it real quick just kind of oh, well let's see okay maybe we'll wait on that yeah we'll wait on that check it out okay so he comes with rope which the rope looks pretty good pretty detailed he comes with his shovel because honestly he didn't have really much of anything in that movie besides a rope and a shovel for the most part and there he is and that looks just like him that really looks good get the downward and upward look i mean you have to appreciate that head sculpt that looks pretty good i really like the detail on his vest his robe looks great arms bend Ooh, this one's kind of tight but yeah there we go arms bend hands move around be a little careful with the hands i noticed uh when i was taking belloc away uh, his hand popped off pretty easy so be careful with that and there's the hasbro mark 2023 on his foot and they all have that too you can lift that up I mean, as you can see, he bends pretty good. And then there's the limitation of the robe, of course, but that's no real problem. He's got his pants on. That's really neat. This is going to be really neat. We can put this figure with the Indiana Jones one that they're coming out with with all his robes on for when he goes down and looks to find out where the Ark is. So this, this is a pretty cool action figure. That looks pretty good. And if you've never seen the movie, you should. Because Sala is awesome. So that is what we have so far. Let's move to the next one. Okay, here we go. It is Major Arnold Tote. Now this guy is a major pain throughout the movie he's just he's just that guy that keeps popping up everywhere that you just want to see be destroyed anyways here's his jacket it just wraps around him so that looks pretty cool and now here he is you see his face that is a great head sculpt that is awesome these glasses can come off but i'm not going to take them off that way you can put them on the other head that comes with him there's his little nazi pin there's his hat look at the look at the detail with the tie this is really cool that tie is really neat that's some detail and then you know we got our basic body and that's what he looks like he's got his gloves on so there he is let's go ahead and put his jacket on him just like he would be all through the movie and then this is his pistol looks like a luger and that looks pretty good it's pretty cool okay we'll go with this hat next there's his hat pretty basic looks pretty good put that on him oh yeah that brings it out. That makes it look just like him. Brings him to life. All right. Now, the hand. There it is. There's his burnt hand. That looks pretty good. Pretty detailed. Just like in the movie. Bring it in a little bit closer. There we go. Remember, the staff was too short. They're digging in the wrong place. All right, and there's his head when it's melting. That's pretty graphic. 
that's pretty graphic you can hook the glasses up there as you can see but that that's pretty wild I'll tell you what we're gonna do real quick we're gonna take this hat off take okay maybe yep there we go head's kind of tough getting off we're gonna put this one on oh yeah that is creepy look at that yep just like in the movie Okay, and that is Tote. Major Arnold Tote. So, he looks pretty awesome. That is a pretty cool action figure. I have to say, he's probably one of my favorites out of this group right here. Yeah, gotta get his collar down. It kind of came up. Uh, yeah, he's definitely, I would say, he would be one of my favorites out of this group. That is pretty detailed. We're going to go ahead and give him his pistol right now. That pistol's not very hard. It's kind of got a rubbery uh, feel about it. That, I've noticed that with the uh, latest G.I. Joe classifieds, too. The weapons are more rubbery. It's like a bendable plastic, not so much, you know, the hard plastic like we're used to. So, but there he is. Here's the two pieces of the arc that he came with. We figured out the other two. This is the top. That was the bottom. So we'll go ahead and assemble this right now. Oops. There we go. We'll go ahead and put that on right there. That looks good. Almost done. Put these in here and try not to break anything in the process. There we go. Put that one in there. Okay, we're not going to put sand inside today, but you know, you could do that for effect. If you watch the movie and put some sand inside, and then we'll put the top on. And that looks cool so far, but we're not done yet. We've got one more to go. All right, let's get to the next one. Okay, here he is, the grand finale, Indiana Jones himself. Henry Jones Jr. Let's look at the hands first. Okay, so that looks pretty good. This is obviously your whip hand. And that's another hand there. we got your fists for when you want to fight they look excellent there is the idol which he really that really looks cool that looks good here is his pistol Okay, so he came with two whips like this. So I guess if you lose one, you got an extra one. Or it might have been a mistake. That's okay. We'll take the two whips. Uh, here are the cherubim. And they're going to go on top of the arc. And they look excellent. That looks great. Let's go ahead and stick those on there now. They kind of snap in. They're kind of like a rubbery type plastic. Wow, that looks good. Okay, and here he is. Look at this head sculpt. That looks awesome. Looks just like him. Uh, wish you could take the hat off, but you can't. But you know what? How are you going to fit that just right on his hair? There's a lot of work you'd have to do there just to get that to fit right and look right on him. Look at the way this... The shirt is, I mean, it's all wrinkled. It looks just like his. Neck goes down in there pretty good. The jacket hangs off of him just the way it should. That is really cool. There's his bag right there, which you could get that out of there if you wanted to. But uh, obviously I am not. Uh, so that's really neat. There's his holster. 
that unclips. And let's go ahead and put his pistol in there. Ooh, it's kind of hard to get in there because of the jacket. Ooh, let's get it in there. Yeah, that's, that's not going in very well. That's kind of tough. Okay, so the pistol didn't go in there too well. Maybe just leave the pistol out. He didn't use it much anyways. So anyways, but there's the holster. If you can get the pistol in, good for you. I couldn't. There's the jacket. I like the wear on the jacket. That really makes it look good, makes it look realistic. That's cool. And of course, he bends, he moves, he stretches. His head moves around. Arms bend. He he is a really great sculpt. I mean, this figure is awesome. Like I said, especially, especially if you remember the old figures that they came out with in the 80s, which were extremely hard to find. And if you found them, you're lucky. But yeah, this look, really looks good. And we'll go ahead and let's show the arc real quick. So that's what it looks like when it is completed. When you buy all five characters. So that is cool. Take the lid off. And there's nothing inside. You got to put some sand in there like it was in the movie. Or maybe you can have some smoke and maybe put some lights in there if you want. Just like in the movie. So that's cool. That is neat. And then there's his, his other whip. It's kind of tangled up. But you can see. Ready for some action. So that's really, that's really, really neat. So if you like this video, um, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have not seen Indiana Jones or any of those movies, you should really check all of them out. They are really good. Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls. And then, of course, the new one is coming out soon. So you got to check that out, too. And there are obviously going to be more Indiana Jones action figures on their way. I've seen other ones that look really good that are coming out. Uh, we got the Indiana Jones with his white suit. Looks like a James Bond suit from Club Obi-Wan. Uh, from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I've seen uh, the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Indiana Jones with his more uh, Arabic uh, attire on. Uh, his Egyptian-like clothes that he wore for the dig. Um, there's another Indiana Jones that's coming out that looks like the Professor version of him. Uh, they got the bad guy from... Uh, the Last Crusade coming out. So they've, they've got a lot of figures lined up. And I think they'll do pretty good. Um, I think the ones did reasonably okay from the Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls when they came out. A lot of them did. And <laughs> try finding those for a cheap price. So I'm sure these will do well. And uh, as always, God bless.